Newly revealed, a surveillance camera records the moment New Zealand was struck by its worst earthquake for many years. A department store in Christchurch swaying violently, sales placards flapping wildly as if buffeted by strong winds. Further evidence of just how powerful this earthquake was, 7.1 on the Richter scale, although miraculously no one died. Now as the clean-up begins, experts are warning there's more to come. Now, we knew that this would go on for at least weeks. Um, aftershocks don't get smaller in a hurry, they do get less frequent. The crisis has forced the Prime Minister, John Key, to cancel a planned trip to Europe. There's been uh, further movement uh, in aftershocks overnight, uh, greater instability in the Canterbury region and look on balance as I said yesterday, I'd consider it day by day. If it wasn't prudent I wouldn't go. I've decided on balance uh, it wouldn't be prudent for me to leave. I'd rather stay and be here in New Zealand. As the centre of Christchurch remains cordoned off by the army, neighbouring Australia is grappling with a crisis of its own. Serious flooding in the state of Victoria. Heavy rain has caused a number of rivers to burst their banks, leaving hundreds of properties under water. The region had been suffering from ten years of drought. Authorities were desperate for it to end, but not like this. Martin Benedict, The Associated Press.